Mexico State Police Officer has been shot and a suspect is dead. It happened this morning in Farmington after a traffic stop in the north part of town. News 13's Ryan Martin is live in Farmington with the latest. Ryan. Madeline, uh, police say it all started when a San Juan County Sheriff's deputy was pulling over a truck related to a series of burglaries. That's when state police got involved. Now, the state police chief says it all, this unfolded around 930 on Main Street near the Animus Valley Mall when his officer got on the scene to help the deputy. That deputy was already arresting the op, the driver of the truck. The state police officer started talking to one of the two passengers of the truck identified as 26 year old William Wilson. After an exchange, the state police officer went to cuff Wilson when Wilson pulled out a revolver and fired it at the officer. The bullet hit the officer's badge, sending shrapnel towards his face, but the round stopped in the officer's bulletproof vest. Look, if, if someone's going to try to kill a state police officer, then I'll be a very blunt. Yeah, uh, he's a danger to the community. Now, both the officer and the deputy that fired, both the officer and the deputy fired back at Wilson, which killed him. The officer was taken to the hospital and has already been released. The deputy was not injured. Now, the sheriff Ken Christensen says that Wilson is an example of repeat offenders and the catch and release that's been going on throughout the New, Me New Mexico judicial system. He believes that uh, this is definitely making it very dangerous for many officers who deal with these catch and release suspects. Madeline, back to you. Okay, thank you, Ryan. And we'll bring you more on this story, including Wilson's criminal history tonight at 10.